Uh, is that really my hit point? Yeah. Oh. Ready if you are. Let's okay. Get, let's get so, last time we left the Legion of Osfox, they continued across the dangerous sea. While on the way, they boarded a ship of uh, dysfunctional pirates, um, mm -hmm. befriended both storm giants and an ancient dragon turtle. And uh, you actually checked in on your old friend, Tills, and learned of her current place of work, the Abyss. Um, as you made your way towards Massive Greed, past the grasp of the Kraken, one of you being swallowed by the Titan or detonating yourself to survival, um, you all slipped beneath the Lonesome Willow. You all felt some kind of strange pull in the back of your brain, like a familiar thought leaving you wondering what you were thinking about in the first place. As the ship carries you, the Lost Gale and its crew, um, it banks across the presumed shoreline. And the beauty beneath the canopy of the bulge before you is mesmerizing. Um, before the group overall began making a bit too much noise as you stepped off the ship. I had you see sets of antlers raising from the shrubs before you. And as these heads lift, you can see through the creature's um, outline, say from strips of spine and skin that dangle from the humanoid torso. Ew. The face is bare, lidless, eyeless skull, and the crimson teeth um, as they all start galloping towards you. Um, Schechter, I think Abby had some HP slash spell casting updates for you. You are, oh yeah. Okay, so you're down two Bardic Inspirations. Okay. One, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Sorry. Oh boy. And you're at 76 hit points. Oh my. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me start with the HP. Uh... Yeah, I have 54. Me too. There? Oh no. Yeah, there are a couple of big heels that helped. I think a couple of people got down pretty low, but um, yeah, you guys are you guys are okay right now. Yes, sir. Are you ready for coffee? <laughs> yep. Um, as you guys step off, let's go ahead and roll initiative. Okay, so I'm missing third, fourth. You're missing a four, four, five, and six. So sorry. Oh gosh. Okay. And I want to say they were all successful, but I kind of don't remember what I cast. Um, I, I do have to say you you did a good job. I watched the session. I thought you kept it on brand. It was it was good. Thanks, man. It was a uh, I try I tried my best. I mean, you kept track of stuff, so that's awesome. Did <laughs> you use a uh? Court of Valor on the loot so that I have to mark off one of those charges. Oh, let me think. Actually, I Honey, you might want to check the kitchen. Shit, I don't know, actually. I don't I don't oh, okay. think so. I think um, it was only on the inspiration. It was just that. that I did oh, I one actual inspiration and then I did a uh, flourish. A flourish. Okay. Awesome sauce. It did have to mass heal everybody, so that did happen. Okay. Yeah, and I've got um, Stella's character sheet and stuff, so I'll just highlight oh, her character let me, tonight. Let me, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, let me. So, and we and have I, not feasted or rested. <laughs> goody. You want to try it? You guys are pretty uh, high level. You'll be. You'll be. Are we hurting? Yes. Oh, I have a question, Paul. Yeah. Are we on the out on the ground, like off of the ship, or are we still on? The yeah, ship? you guys are have stepped because of the ones. Where I'm saying that you guys are off the ship. You guys see the oh. danger approaching as the ship has holes uh, in it. Uh, it's barely afloat as you guys kind of hop off to halt the things coming towards you. That we mended oh. it. It's on like solid ground. Though. We um, fixed it. You guys did mend most of it, but it's definitely still need of some repair. This is all you guys right here in this line. And the three, oh. we'll call them centaurs. 
Okay. We'll oh. call them centaurs. That's that's what you want to hear your DM say. Undead Great. centaurs. Undead centaurs. Probably. You know, that's such a slippery slope, uh, trying to not call something what it's called. I did that last night, um, or the night before last in a game. I got almost all the way through battle without saying where rats, but I said where rats <laughs> once, and they were like, oh, are you kidding me? Oh. Yeah, I, I do it all the time, dude. I'm like, oh, this is this. I'm like, fuck, you guys don't know that yet. All right. <laughs> well, now you do. I'm always like, yeah, what? I know. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, I think it's like a trade-off. Like, oh, you learned it. Now you, now you know what this is. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Okay. Anyone get above a 25? Oh, I didn't roll. Uh, so, sell it. I, I'm not above 25, but it's right in that range. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I did not get that actually. I got a twenty. I have a twenty-two. Okay. What did Sella get? Uh, Sella got twenty-four. Nice. And I got twenty-three. Schechter uh, twenty twenty-three. Schechter when? Okay. Anyone between uh twenty and twenty-two? I got an unnatural twenty. Twenty is oh, Rainy. What's your plus? What's your initiative? Uh, plus 12. I rolled an 8. Oh, oh, I heard a natural 20. Oh, sorry. Un- sorry. sorry. I was just like, girl, you're ahead of all of us. Like, you're, you're a player. Okay. That's okay. 32. <laughs> Anyone in the 15 range? I got 19. 19. Kismet. Bob, what'd you get? 9. Let's go. I got 12. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. And LA3 and then Baba. Oh, what did Bree get? That's cacked. Please be at the end because I didn't put enough space to put Bree's. I know, I know. 13, <laughs> sorry. What, how much oh, yeah, you get? 13, so it's right before lay three. Damn it. Sorry. We'll just reroll everything. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> We've got kebab at the end. Okay. Uh, Schechter or Sella, just as uh, you guys kind of get off uh, your daughter to your left, you can see right in this direction there is a centaur kind of bounding through um, this kind of loose skeletal spine, holding it up with all these just random strands of skin kind of flowing as it runs through the brush. What does Sella want to do? And then Schechter's on deck. Oh, that, that sounds awful. Um... Music means it's delightful. <laughs> they're gonna hug yeah. us. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, they will. They're gonna. They're. <laughs> they're just gonna. You know, take us safely out of here. Okay, we're on. We're on ground, right? We're, yes. We're off of the ship. Okay. Um. I feel like uh, with something like this running very close by, uh, she might. She might summon the stone owl bear that she has. I d- can't say the. Uh, Elvish that does it. She can really well, but uh, she speaks some really fancy uh, Elvish and summons a stone owl there um, hey. to help. Is that, a, is that her action? That is an action. Okay, got it. Uh, we are getting the owl there. I feel like I have a. Yeah, I do. I have I have a fancy little card. <laughs> oh, that's cool. for the stat block. Um. So yeah, she summons that, and then I think um. Crap! No, no real bonus actions. Um, probably gonna save. Yeah, I'm gonna save the Bardic Inspiration for right now. Um, you want her to move anywhere? Uh, let's see here. Could could somebody point him out real quick, just to? Um, I can she's see right Schechter. here. Okay, behind Schechter. and then yeah, there's right. Maria. Bria's right there. Okay. Okay, cool. So she would probably um, 
have it just in between the us and the the um, creature that's coming towards us, um, and have it take a like a defensive stance to attack anything that comes nearby. Okay, yeah, you see, see this uh, just this massive bear like form just erupt out, but it's got a completely flat face and a hooked nose and just two massive black eyes. It just comes screeching and growling out of nowhere uh, towards the centaur. Uh, Schechter, what do you want to do when are you on deck? Okay, um, and then back to back, Nick. Yeah, yep, this is <laughs> this is fun. Um, <laughs> You know what? Uh, I think we're actually going to go with uh, an enhance ability. Um, let's see here. I think I can do one additional target. Yeah, so I'm going to do a third level enhance ability and uh, I'm going to cast uh, Bear's Endurance on Sela and Bria. Uh, so they get advantage on constitution checks and then 2d6 temporary hit points. Uh, checks or? Constitution checks. Okay, cool. Uh, let me read that one more time. Uh, yes, constitution checks. So not saving throws, but whatever. And then, Checker, you're right here. Do you want to move anywhere? Um, I'm going to take a couple of steps forward kind of defensively, um, try and move in front of the group so like towards you I, i've just judging by from where the hand is coming from yeah 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 that's good speak um and then they bria gets an additional six temporary hit points so does Sela. he is now full again nice neat done. Then Laura, All right, I'm, gonna bring your deck. I'm going to do a... Uh, Ooh, I'm so yeah. sorry. I am concentrating on that uh, enhance ability if you guys have like a concentration ring or anything. Help, help us all remember. You cannot see it, but we can see it. Okay, uh, that, that's all that really matters. Uh, yeah. And then lastly, I'm going to inspire when Laura okay. um, with the bardic inspiration. We, we got one coming. Incoming. Okay, okay, okay. okay uh, really quick. Vector, uh, I need you to roll twice and I need you to do wisdom saving throws for you and Sela. Oh. Oh. Lucky luck. oh boy. That sounds great. My my dice roller is not working on DD Beyond. So that's whatever. All right, I got a plus three. Uh, 17 for Schechter. Okay. Do, do, do. And then she has a plus two. Also 17 for Sela. Okay. Um, just seeing these, these creatures charge towards you, you both kind of think of your daughter and this fear that begins to build up is um, gone. Because you're able to kind of focus on the task at hand. Yes. Brennan, you're up. No. When Laura, you're before friend. Thank you. Go ahead. Um, all right, I am inspired. I got that going. I'm gonna do a second level bless okay. and that'll hit four people. So I'm actually gonna hit all the girls except Sella, sorry. Okay. So that is my action. And then- What is that? What does that do again? D4. You get a D4 for Saves and attacks. Awesome. Um, that will be, I'm just gonna hold it. That's my turn. Okay. Um, uh, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Cool, cool, cool. Blessed. Oh, d uh, d does the owlbear go on the next round? Um, I'll give him a round right after print. Okay. 
Actually, no, because the action, he will go next round. That's my bad. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Okay, that's fine. Uh, and plus a d4, because why not? Yeah, well, actually, 28. <laughs> You're not scared at all. Okay. Just kind of charging through, you kind of um, start stumbling through, and you realize that everything in front of you is just this twisted vine. It's not anything of solid earth. You can see water, actually. There's like a stream? Like all of this that you're standing on right now looks like ramen wood. Oh, yes. gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Ew, okay, got it. Um, can't do a bonus action, so that is my turn for now. All right, friend. What do you want to do? You are right here. Awesome. Who's next to me? Is that Lathri? Yeah, the Lathri right here. Schechter here. Baba Lamara. Okay. Cool. Okay. So um, do we just see one of the little centaur things right now? Um, you can see kind of uh, movement to your left and right, about 20, 25 feet out. But yeah, there's one charging straight towards you. OK. And it, then it's looking like it's, been, it's meaning to attack us? Yes. Yeah, OK. Then I will go ahead and can I scoot up next to Schechter? And then I will throw my two daggers. One being blue blur. It's a 23 to hit. And oh, and a nat 20 on the second one. Hit it, hit it with an extra d4 just because. Well, no, because if I have to do a wisdom save, I was going to save it for that. No, you do it each time for all of them. Yeah, oh. not just once, it's all. For how long? Until I lose concentration. Oh, shoot, I didn't know that. Okay, so second one is a 22 and a 25 for the first one. To hit. For, for the damage? Uh, no, that's to hit. Uh, because we had a D4, I know you're Oh, yeah, those both hit. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so sneak attack. Yeah, we'll say you kind of snuck in a view and threw the daggers. Go ahead. Okay. There's going to be a hot second one. And then, so if the second one is a nat 20, do I double the dice? Yeah, roll your damage dice and double that. Okay, and it's just the dice, right? Yes. Yep. I got it. Yeah. Roll them dice, girl. That oh, man. oh yeah, I ain't doing this in my head. Add okay. them dice. Yeah, no. Right. I rolled I rolled two ones, unfortunately, Ooh. but I rolled a couple good ones. So it's a okay. four. Full full, 44. Oh damn. I mean. Did it kill it? Pretty good. Um, as you throw into it, the first one strikes into it, and it doesn't make any noise. It just keeps running towards you. The oh, second okay. one cuts through the spine, the top half of the figure just collapsing, falling off. Oh. And it turns around and begins crawling towards Shecker. Oh, no! No, it's not. Oh. 
No, that's not okay. That's not... <laughs> as, as you make your throw, after it detaches, it begins kind of like spider crawling towards Schechter. Uh, make a wisdom saving throw. Gross. So like the top half of it is severed off and crawling towards Schechter? Yep. yep. And the other part's still like... Oh, yeah, the, uh, the bottom is still galloping towards you. That's disgusting. Okay. Ooh. And add a D4. Yep. Um, that would be... Four. 24. I rolled an 18. <laughs> With uh, Nathalie in mind, um, you see this fall off, and it obviously catches you off guard, but... You just kind of ready yourself for the incoming centaur. Kismet, before you go. Um, Did you add your, I mean, I know you already passed, okay. That's disgusting. Um, as the owlbear kind of gets in front of the centaur by Sela, uh, you, you can kind of see out of the corner of your eye, the top half of the centaur begins to lean towards the owlbear and then past the owlbear as it stretches out another 15 feet and makes an attack. Um, two attacks on Sela. 15? Ooh, not very good. First one's a 15. Just misses. Yeah. Okay. Second one's a 21. Well, that hits. All right. Uh, Sella takes 21 points of piercing damage. Plus six necrotic. Oh, good. Good. Uh, and I need her to make a constitution saving throw. So 27 total. Yeah. Oh, eight through those temp HP like it was nothing. Uh, you said con save? Yeah. I rolled a 16, so hopefully this is good. Okay, she has a plus two, so 18. So oh, let me backtrack a little bit. It would would be 27, but because she m- made her save, it's only 21. Cool. So yeah, she's good. Okay. Okay. That, that, uh, and then bad. it's going to make... Say again? Not as bad as it could have been then. Yep. You're good. Uh, and then it's going to move. The head kind of stretches over um, your daughter, Bria. Um, you said it's its head that's leaning over? Like the spine elongates. Ooh. And it just pulls off the body like it's just this long stick. Actually does get snakes. snakes. Like Actually, does get two more. Yeah. Uh, and it hits one on Bria as it uses its hoof and just smashes into her sternum. Kind of hear the breath leave her. Um, she takes. Okay. Give me, you're up. <laughs> Am I closer to the lower half or the upper half? You are closer to the upper half. It's about 25 ish feet from you. It's pretty close, cool, oh, so. I can cover that easy. Uh, what the hell? I guess I'll just run all over and uh, I'm gonna have my staff up high in the air and just gonna swing on down with like a hard crack to the skull's head and just try to bash it until it just stops moving. Okay. I'll make your tax. Mm-hmm. 
Jesus. Uh, 26. That hits. And that's one. Uh, 15 for the first strike. Okay. Uh, that's like 26 to hit. That is. Uh, 14 for the second damage. Okay. And I'm gonna unarm uh, Gloria Blows and punch it now. Okay. Uh, uh, 21 to hit. That is. Eight points of damage. Uh, uh, 19 to hit. That just hits. Ooh. Uh, another eight points of damage, and I'm gonna stunning strike it if it's not dead. If it's not dead. Oh, god. All right, well, I'm gonna stunning strike it. So, uh, con uh, 15. It fails. Wait, it is done until the end of my next turn. It's just the top half of the centaur, isn't it? Just on the end. Mm, that's kind of deer. Half a man, actually. Yeah, it's just half a man. <laughs> Just half a man. And the other one is just a headless horse. True. Okay. <laughs> this is stunned. This bottom half is going to continue. Um, I need Kismet to make a strength saving throw. And he got a d4. Yay. Cool. cool. Saving throws or ability checks? Does, does its attacks pass. get disadvantaged because it doesn't have any eyes? <laughs> Uh, you said strength saving throw? Yeah. Uh, 23. By the tree, yeah. You are not knock prone, but you do take. Cool. 17 points of bludgeoning damage as the two hooves just kind of, one kicks you right in the chin, the other kicks you on the side of the temple. Kind of blink for a second, you feel a little blood kind of building in your mouth and taste the warmth. Um, I need you to make a sorry for the rolls, a wisdom saving throw, Kismet. Uh, 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 I don't ma that don't matter. I wrote a natural one. Oh okay. wait, do I have any advantages? Well, I mean, not what does the natural ones matter for like beef? That's just an automatic miss. What does it add to? <laughs> All right, gives me. But really, though, what does what? It, what does it add to? What's that? Five. It's still, it's still one. It, even what? I can check. Like, like how a twenty still gets a screwed over? It's only for misses. It's only for like attacks and like, I, ability. I hear you. Oh. What? It's kind of weird not being able to actually see the DM. It's like I know, I'm like I don't know like, what's going on. It's like being DM'd by just the voice of God, like <laughs> coming from nowhere. <laughs> yeah, you're just looking up some. Ooh. The rainbow ball is currently spinning right it's loading <laughs> the dm is loading yeah but i mean we're not a mac user well i, I mean that's just the gif i don't think any of us uses mac no we're too poor <laughs> <laughs> well the joke is the joke is that we all probably use windows and it doesn't really do that shit it just does the thing Macs, though yeah everything will make it wait and the load Kismet, you can add it up if you want to well, okay well that would be nine with the d with the d4 yeah with the d4 i wrote a four oh. nine doesn't matter 
<laughs> you are uh, you are frightened. Um, yeah. Yep. Sorry. Okay. Before Bria goes. Wait, am I afraid of the upper half or the lower half? <laughs> Are you afraid of the man or the horse? That is a very um, good question. The two legs, the spine is kind of wriggling in front of you, yeah. just kind of loosely. And you can see it kind of elongate towards you, kind of reaching towards you, this strange bone. So I'll, I'll say the bottom. This is not um, normal. Why am I with this group? <laughs> I was just drunk in a bar one day. Ah, oh, fuck me. Okay. It is going to make three attacks on you. Cool. Does a 16, 16 misses. Yes. A what? 25. That hits. And a 27. Yeah, I think that one Okay. Is what so, is that thing? <clears throat> is that one of, one of the other things or is that something yeah. else? Yep, I only have one centaur figure, so I use okay. other weird I'm shit. like, whoa. <laughs> where, where did that come from? Hello? Uh, okay, so the hooves kind of go towards you, put up your shield real quick, real quick as it smashes in the shield, and you kind of look back. It's going to make a bite and call attack. Twenty-four points of piercing damage. I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Okay, just a normal Constitution. Twenty-four. Okay, hold yeah. on. I want to this. Because it might be a higher DC for your Constitution check. Um, twenty-four. Okay, so you don't take any more damage than that. So, Constitution check now. I get twenty-four. Get advantage. So that is twelve. Twelve. No! I only rolled okay. 10. Okay. Down or half the damage. You guys are no longer blessed. Aw. Damn it. It was fun while it lasted. Even with an advantage, you're rolled an eight and a four. D and D sometimes. It's real dirty. It doesn't care. The concentration is broken. Okay. So that's what that ring was for. Oh gosh. Okay. And then okay. the <laughs> Thanks, Chris. the claw attack is going to be 12 points of damage. Okay. And I need you to make a wisdom save. Natural 20 for a 30. Yeah, you're good. That could have, couldn't have done that for blessed. <laughs> right. For what? <laughs> yeah, run away. <laughs> okay, and this one attacked right after Kismet. Got it. Okay. Okay. Rhea is going to run up, kind of try to get around this thing a little bit, gonna make her two attacks. And this newly made hammer, she smashes into one of the legs, kind of flamingoing the leg, making it go backwards. And the centaur almost nose dives in as it is um, not crippled, but the uh, front right leg is just not working anymore. She did a ton of damage. Um, that's me. Lay three, and then Baba. Yeah. Okay. Um. Um, come on, you can come up. Come on. Come. You have to jump like a regular cat. Yep. Okay. He'll figure it out. Maybe. Um, I'm going to, uh, can I, 
I don't want to, but I have no choice. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bonus action cast where is that? Where is it? Where is it? Guardian Guardian of Nature. And then I'm gonna go ahead and run over to uh the one that's attacking when. Bring you around this way just so you can see a little better. But you're right there. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to uh hold on, this is new. This is a new thing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cast inflict wounds. What is I didn't know LA3 was so hardcore. Yeah, so my new staff is gonna kind of glow um like a like a real vibrant like deep red um and i'm gonna go ahead and uh swing that at him okay go for it it's a sith lightsaber that's what <laughs> i just pictured i don't know about anybody else but that's what that's what i saw okay not blessed anymore but that's uh Oh Lord, uh, 19 plus 12. Uh, yeah, that hits. Okay. All right, can we lens? Thirty-one points of necrotic damage. Okay, thirty-one to hit, thirty-one damage. Okay. Damn son. Nice. Anything else you want to do? Bonus. I, well, uh, the bonus was my casting. Yep. So, does it? Do, did that seem to? I guess damage normally. <laughs> did it? What kind of damage was it? Necrotic. Necrotic. Um, make a perception check. And then, really quick, what, what was the plus twelve from? Uh, it's a melee spell attack. And mine is plus 10, and my staff gives me a plus two. Okay, double check. Uh, 13. Okay, that, that's good enough. As you uh, hit it, you can see the kind of black energy swarm into it, but it doesn't appear to affect it as much as you think it would. It does affect it, but just not as much as you think. Damn it. Baba. I'll look around real quick. Yeah. Do any of these people have ranged weapons? That are immediately obvious at least. These things? Yeah. Um, they do not. I'm a flat police. Classic. Classic body. On par. On par. All part of the course, nothing? Yeah. I know we have the plan. I just don't know what it is yet. No one knows. Getting some, uh, there's, some they fly. there's some kind of gotcha here. Well, that's real tall. 30 feet. That's the wrong person. 30 feet. <laughs> a lot of feet. Yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Shit, that's it. <clears throat> Not have to decide if I want to heal people or damage. Does anything look like really beaten up? 
Does any, you mean the I creatures or the people? Creatures. Um, the one on your left, well, the one in the middle is cut in half. The one on your left looks like it's taking quite a bit as well. Yep. yep. All right. Well, if I can reach Is there anything that can represent a fireball? Not like an actual fireball, but like a ball of fire? It hurts. Oh, that's exactly what I'm casting. Oh, <laughs> okay, where do you want to put it? Uh, so wherever you want, whatever the range is. Why am I stressed out? I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> You're on deck, man. Times two. I'll use my bonus action. Wait. <laughs> uh, deck save for a con. Uh, it is a deck save, 18. Okay, it rolled a natural 18. But it still takes damage, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So take 46 and a half. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, those are good. 10, 10 fire damage. Okay, nice. Uh, That's, concentration. Okay. At the end of the turn, you begin to see shifts and movement from above you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, really quick. Wisdom save and then dexterity save. Let me do that wisdom save first. Go ahead. Yeah, not bad at no, all. Not bad. 14. Yeah, I think that's really close. I rolled 15, so I know. <laughs> Do I need to wait what? save? I did not. Uh, yes, please, if you don't mind. Uh, 14 fails. Yeah, we're frightened. Cool. Can't get closer, but didn't blame on it. Yeah. Uh, Dex. And then Dex save. Uh, 27. Okay, you're good. I like you. That is a 19. Okay. Um, these long vines begin to shoot out from the canopy above you. You are. Yes. Oh, shit. Yes. You are. Grapple. That's been pretty good. Oh, there's a grapple. A thing. I'm going to put this too. What do you think? All on me. <laughs> right. Concentrate and grab it. All right. Two to come zero, blah, blah, blah. Grab the creature players and by reach the grab them. Okay. Sweet. So you're kind of like in this little cocoon of vines as they slowly begin to kill you. All righty. Sella, you're on deck. I was wondering. You're on oh deck? boy! Okay, in a little bit. Left yeah. is on deck. Um, so, so Stella's got the owl bear and then Bria right next to her, right? And then this yeah. gross thing in front of her. Yeah. Um, she's gonna. Uh, before I do this, can I cast a cantrip and a spell in the same turn if one of them is a bonus action? Yes. Cool. So we're gonna do lightning lure, uh, which is cantrip. Um, on this thing, and it makes a, uh, or as long as it looks like from here, she's within five feet of it, right? Yes. If yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, so it makes a strength saving throw. Um, DC sixteen, but uh, it still takes the what is it three D eight lightning damage. The strength saving throw is to see if it's pulled uh, ten feet up into the air. Got a natural 20. Lame. Sorry. It's That's okay. okay. But you know what? Of all the things that you could get a, 20, a, a natural 20. Yeah, on, exactly. It's kind of a waste of 20. Yeah, a saving throw like that is, is really not much. Okay, but it still takes 3d8 lightning damage. Um, okay. So 11, 
16. Uh, and then bonus action, she's going to do, uh, what was it? Holy weapon. Uh, and that uh, imbues her sword or whatever staff. Uh, probably the sword, because I think she actually has two weapons at the moment. Yeah, the a long sword and a staff healing. So the long sword she'll imbue with holy magical power. Um, okay. And the next time she makes an attack, it will have a little extra oomph to it. Um, and it also sheds a 30 foot radius of dim light. Uh, no, okay, so it starts emitting bright light in a 30 foot radius and then a dim light for an additional 30 feet. So like 60 feet of light, 30 feet of that is bright. The other 30 feet is dim. Um, concentration, right? And this is concentration. But I'm happy we get to use some of them. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And then uh, she has a free hand, right? Yeah. Okay, sweet. Um, she want to move or is she good right there? Probably going to stay right there. Uh, actually, if she can uh, flank the the creature, try and get on the other side of the owl there. You know what I mean? Get uh... She's gonna go right in between kind of thing? Yeah, if that's possible. There? He wants, to, he wants on the other side of the owlbear. Oh. No, like the other, like flank opposite of the owlbear. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the backside. I, okay. I'll let you guys do two okay. camera angles because like <laughs> I can only see it on one now. Um, and then, yeah, she's gonna hold there. Um, and then the owl bear will do its couple of attacks. Uh, so that's it for her turn. Do, do, do. So it gets a, a beak and a claw attack. Um, and the do, 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 beak rolled 15. 15 does hits. It, okay, cool. Oh. And then I was super cocked. The claws roll nice. Um, 24. Nice. Okay. 2d8. And then I'm just going to give you like a damage total. It's all. Oh, it's two attacks. That's right. Is, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep rain. 2d8, 8, 8, 9, 10. Cool. Okay. So seven and nine. 18. Uh, 18 on the die, but it's plus five on each of those. So 28 total. It yeah, kind of shimmering owlbear is just splashing in um, to this centaur that appears to be just dangling with the skin it begins slopping off and doesn't make any noise it just kind of stares back at it like almost with open arms hmm gross uh okay and then as far as Schechter is concerned does he notice anybody um petrified or afraid of these things or <sighs> not like... from your vantage point uh make a perception check Okay, I might as well. I mean, I know this thing was fucking scary and I had to like try and do something about it. I, I rolled a 19. I did not hear. Say again, check her. I, I rolled a 19 on a perception. Um, I know, but I did. Right. Looking up, you can see Baba entangled in vines. And he does have a just a wide eyed, kind of scared look on his face as they begin to wrap around his neck. I have a question. I actually made the save. That's not a question. <laughs> that wasn't even a question. I have to agree with Paul. <laughs> nope, not a question. I did make the save. I just did not do math correctly. Okay. What'd you get? I got an eight, and then I got a plus two for bless. So that's 10. 
and then I have a plus three for my actual constitution. So I made the save to keep less by one. Wow. That still wasn't a question, Abby. <laughs> As a player, what do you want me to do? You want me to retcon and add less to everyone? No, I just want to retcon. Oh, well, yeah, actually. Um, <laughs> I don't think it actually affected anything. It only affected a lay three, but she still hit anyway. Yeah, I hit and I made my save. So you're like next, man. You couldn't. Okay. <laughs> You know, hey, I, I lost the last just a couple rounds ago, not like the start of my Yeah, game. that's true. I'm do this like to you, but if you want to, you can add it back on. Well, I'm not a DM, so that's fine. <laughs> oh, are we, are we, do we get Bless back? I think that was a yes as they the rings drop back on the characters. Um, okay, I do have a question. Uh, player to DM, would Schechter notice? <laughs> would Schechter notice that um, there are a significant number of us afraid? Because um, if it's just one of us, then eh, I might I might let them roll with it. But if I notice that several of us are kind of stopped by this creature, there are two of us. Uh, that's like almost enough. Yeah. This one's all you notice. Okay. Uh, Schechter would, would notice, though, that two of us are like definitely afraid of this thing. Yeah. Uh, frick. Well, you know what? I have it. We're doing it. Um, I'm going to try and take a, a step kind of away from pretty much anything that's going to hurt me and take like any kind of defensive motion I can, but I'm gonna use counter charm, which is just my bardic feature. Um, and so I start playing a song in the loot, just trying to inspire everybody. Uh, and any friendly creature within 30 feet of me that can hear me uh, has advantage on saving throws against being frightened or charmed. Could have done this first round, but I, I didn't know till it was too late. So I, I'm doing that. Oh. Um, and then do, do, do. I don't think I really have any bonus actions. Um, who took damage besides Sella? Uh, stupid question to ask. Um, I know Sella got hit. Um, so I'm just going to do a healing word as a bonus action along with the, the performance, uh, of counter charm. Well, that was a lot. Hey, I rolled a four. Neat. So, yeah, probably everyone except Baba just being 30 feet up and back, but moved you over a little bit so you can get Sella as well. Uh, well, okay. Baba, fly lower. <laughs> Baba, fly lower. Fly <laughs> lower, cold. fly lower. He's grappled though. Oh, he can't fly low. He's got that. Oh, man. <laughs> well, that was that was my whole thing. That was that was my whole thing. Papa says, get taller. <laughs> <laughs> what was your what was your first action checker? Counter charm. What was the first move you did? I mean. Uh I guess moving away. Okay, I thought you hit. Never mind. That was Sella. Yep. Nope, I, I didn't do. Yeah, I know. I got, I got a whole long turn of bard here. Yeah, I'm blending them together. Um, okay. Uh, that's uh, that's all I got. Yeah, she got nine HP back. Okay. <laughs> I cast heal on myself. At seven level, because that's all I got. Um... And uh, I will bonus action try to hit it with Nightmare's Pain. Uh, 
Okay, okay, okay. Thirty-two to hit. Which one? Um, the the guy in front of me. What are you using again? Uh, Nightmare Spain. Yep, that hits. Not good. Um, 11 points of piercing damage, and then I'll add another D8 for my blessed strikes. So that is six points radiant. What was the total? 17. Did Radiant do it? Not that you notice. Huh? That's my turn. At the end of your turn, it is going to use a legendary action cool. to bite. Five. That hits. Uh, that is a 20 points of piercing damage, and you should make a con saving throw. A natural 20. Okay. So just one. Yeah. Um, hmm? I maintain concentration. Of course you do. Um, <laughs> look, friend, you're up. Okay. So, yes, I have. So now there, there is two things in front of me still, right? The one that I severed in like the halves. <laughs> you have, sorry, just a better marker. You have one right here. Yep. Here's the sun. You have a bottom half right here, and then you have one to your right that you can see when Laura and LA3 kind of teaming up on. Is there, does it look like anyone struggling? I guess, like, you know what? No, never mind. I'll yeah, do. Not, um, not that you notice. Yeah, I'm like, it, yeah, it's it, a battle. So um, I'll go ahead and do a dagger to each of them, if that's okay. Okay, do you see right here? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Oh, no. I rolled a nap that, on the first one. Is that one still stunned? Does, does she, do you get advantage if they're stunned? There should be an upper half that the upper half. I was hitting. Yeah, that was that should be stunned by the, until the end of my turn. Sure. You can do that one. You're all the advantage. Okay. Well, that one I wasn't thinking of that one being at that one. So I guess it's still 13 to hit the bottom half. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And then um, the other day. And and oh. your and your D four. Well, thirteen. Okay, so fourteen. Uh, fourteen minutes. Yeah. Twenty-seven. That would be a thirty to hit the upper half. Um. Yeah, that hits. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cool. Unfortunately, that's not a really heavy hitter. So that's only eight good old points of piercing damage. Nice. Good old eight. Um, I think I could. Uh, oh, who's in front of me? I thought Schechter was in front of me. That's not Schechter. Um, 
So it's, this is Kismet right here, and then Shekhar's oh. kind of off to your left. Okay. Does she seem to be focusing on the upper half, or is she facing the upper half? Uh, she's kind of bashing the bot upper half yeah. into the ground. Okay, I'll go on the other side of her, like more towards the bottom half. Okay. And just kind of like confront that one, kind of like stop them both to try to. Okay. Yeah. Let me know when the bottom half goes. Yep. The bottom half of the Okay. <laughs> um, the bottom half. Oh, go ahead, friend. Oh, that's my turn. Sorry. Okay. Bottom half is going to use a legendary action. So it's going to, I don't know if that counts or if it's. it's right. Okay. Um, it is going to use its hoof on Kismet. Um, unnatural 20. Oh, yes. That's all right, gloves are. I'm not looking good. Okay. Uh, 18 points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh, really not looking good. Um, I'm still terrified. I'm still afraid of it, right? The bottom half? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you are. But you're not getting close to us. Well, okay, the top half is gonna go. Oh, did no. you did you roll the save again? The fear save? Oh, did you get to oh, the end of Oh, I'm my bad. Yeah, so for the what I'm looking for is it's actually done. Okay. It would it would be it now. It would be a turn now. The bottom half? Yes. Yeah. I want to keep it on the same thing, so. Okay. Did it say for your son, Kismet? Uh, the bottom half uh, isn't stunned. The top half failed. It hasn't been my turn yet, so it's still stunned. Okay, it's stunned. Um, it cannot do anything. Bottom half is going to try to do of attack, that's all I could do if it's bottom half on Prin. Uh, uh, 19. Is it hit Prin? Yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, that hits. Okay. Uh, 20 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Doesn't move that same. Yeah. Uh, four. Can I? Can I use uncanny dodge, or am I too late? Yeah. Okay. I was like, oh, she didn't hold on. First roll was amazing. Yes. Yeah. Eleven. Eleven <laughs> total. Yeah. Nice. That was with the full forties. Okay, got it. Still in this whole time, you're starting to burn the back of it. You can smell the flesh starting to burn and kind of flick away. They haven't said anything this whole time. No real noises or anything. Okay, yeah, the purple flame begins to lick on the back of the sinks. It seems to somewhat react, but is not making any noise. Okay, this one's turn. It's gonna make three attacks. Um, two on a lay three, one on one Lara. Um, 23 and 22 on a lay three. Yeah. <laughs> and then unnatural 20 on one Lara. Oh, that missed it. Okay. Um, so for lay three. Twenty-three points of piercing damage on the fight, and then seventeen points of slashing damage on the claw. So forty. And then 
That one still can't read that. And I maintain concentration. What do you roll? Uh, because it's per attack. Okay. Uh, I rolled a thirteen without, like, just just on the die. So that's without my D four and my plus eight, and then my second roll was a sixteen plus eight and a D four. Yeah, it's gonna go. Just gonna make her tax with a little bonus. When do I go? After Bria. Uh, right after Bria. Well, I thought I went after Bryn. Oh, sorry. I thought that was Hannah. Wait, no. Wait, what? Sorry. Yeah, yeah what, what are you asking. talking about? Who's, I thought Alethe was asking. No. no. Okay. Yeah, Kismet's after print. Yes. I missed it. Go ahead, Kismet. My bad. Okay. I was like, I'm confused. What's going on? <laughs> um. So I, I'm punching. I'm currently. I have the top half. I'm scared of the bottom half, and it's right behind me. Right. That one time. I said I have the top half in front of me, but the bottom half's behind me, and I'm scared of it. Yes. Correct. Is there, any, is there anything I need to do? I don't know. I can't remember fear exactly. Um. Let me just double check. Can't so it'll be at the end of your turn. You can repeat the saving throw. Okay. Okay. So I just can't attack it, essentially, right? You could. It would just be a disadvantage, but you can't get closer to it. Okay, okay. Uh ooh, I'm already I'm really hurting. <laughs> um all right. Hear me out. Can I try to grapple the top half and like run away from the bottom half with it while I just keep punching in the face? Uh roll a d20. I know how you get it. Okay. No, I, I got a three. Okay, no, sorry, not on this one. Damn. You try something else, though. Okay, well, I will just keep punching in the face as I cry because the body, bottom half is behind me and I'm terrified. Okay, nice. Go for it. Uh, so that's going to be... First two strikes are going to be with my staff. That's uh, 23 to hit. Yep. Okay, and that's... Uh, 13 for the first damage. Uh, 27 to hit. 14 points of damage for that second one. And you I'm beat, gonna throw it. You beat this top half into the ground and it is unmoving at this at this time. Well, thank God. Okay. Woo! And then I'm going to really want to leave the other half, the, the lower half's range. Um, I'm going to do spend a key and do patient defense. Um, take the dodge action as a bonus action on, on my turn. Uh, so I'm just going to be prepared, essentially. And I'm going to roll that. Was it a wisdom save? Um, yes. And you are blessed. Oh, it doesn't matter. Maybe it will. We'll find out. Ooh. 11? 11. No, not enough. Um, still frightened, but close. Okay, I'm just standing there scared of the lower half. It's creepy. Okay. I'm like, that's not normal. Does encounter term help or no? Oh, wait, no, never mind. Yeah. Wait, what? You get advantage. Counter charm, you get advantage. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
think that was the whole point. I think that's right, yeah. Okay, that's better. I rolled a 16 plus the D4. Do it. Okay. Worth it. Okay. Woo! Okay, cool. Okay. But I still have uh, uh, defense. Face of defense. So if it attacks me, I can dodge. Okay, sweet. Um, which one is it supposed to be on? Okay, at the end of Kismet's turn, before Lathry goes, that one is going to use another legendary action. And Bria goes before me. She went. Oh, she, oh my bad. Uh, that is a 25 for Sela. Of course that hits. That is... Uh, 22 points of piercing damage, and I need her to make a con saving throw. Big money, no whammies. Uh, uh, 12. Okay. Okay. Two takes, and then where's my other one? An additional... Oh, man. 19 points of necrotic oh. damage. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll lay through you up. Okay. Well, um, this is just kind of what I have, so I'm going to hit it. Natural 20. Hey. Okay, 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 okay. So. Stella maintains concentration, by the way. Got it. Thanks. Uh, so that's um, on my dice, I rolled 21. So that's four, 41, and then my modifiers are plus four. So 45 or 40, 46, 46 okay. points of necrotic damage. As you smack it with the staff, another piece falls as the top half is now kind of crawling behind you against pulling on the back of your, of your leg. Well, that's unfortunate and my bonus action i'm gonna drink a potion <laughs> okay um at the end of your turn it will spend its last two Legendary actions on when Lara. <laughs> Are there three of the same creature here, or is it? Yes, there are three of these centaurs. Okay. I swear you started off saying Minotaur. And I, I will say, I guess, I don't know how the like, wherever they went, they haven't tried to leave, so they're trying to attack us, but within 15 feet of me for enemies is um, difficult terrain. Actually, because you made the, let me double check one thing.
Actually, because you made the attack, it's going to go to you, LA3. Um, as you kind of look into uh, the eyes of the skull, it does whisper something to you very quietly. And it just says, Mommy, how many hit points do you have? What kind of question is that? That's... <laughs> I, I think all of us reacted the same too. It was all like, oh, wait. Hold on, I'm doing some quick math to make sure that I am correct on what I have here. Um, uh, 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 uh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, what does it say on D&D &D Beyond? It says 82, but I get 10 temporary hit points with the, the spell that I cast. OK, so 92. Mm -hmm. As you hear the word mommy, you think of your mom, you think of how she lost her powers. And everything around you goes tunnel vision, and you are no longer breathing. What? Did it? Did it just use power word kill? That that's what just happened, huh? That was power word kill, wasn't it, bro? <laughs> that's good. Uh. I see that happen? Yes, definitely. You see like the creature kind of pull towards the lathe, you look at her, almost put its hands very gently on her face. Doesn't hear what it says. You just see her kind of roll back, collapse on the ground, kind of staring up at you into nothing. I will use my action to try to break free. Okay. Um, make my legs. Try to wiggle through. Okay. Yeah, you're just in this moment, you just see your friends in need and you're able to kind of wiggle out of the vines as they just kind of all seep back in uh, to the canopy. Okay. Well, didn't mean to do that. More of that. If you see anything else. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> uh, I'm going to fly down 10 feet. Pointy up. And I'm going to add almost mass healing word. It was 60 feet. Anyone who can. Six figures are good. You can see within range. One before a book out. Yeah. Eleven. When he was 11. Okay, everyone except a lay three, he was 11. Okay. Yeah. Bob is a No, I got you. Uh, action. Good. All right. Oh, wait, do I need that wasn't safe? Yes. Could I have moved down? Because I didn't move forward, but I didn't. Go for it. Is yeah. that, was that closer? Um, because I am frightened. I don't know if that counts. I'm trying to remember which one it was. It was that one and that one. Was it this one? Yeah. Or is it this one? I think it was this one. Okay. So you, can move, you can move that. that so I'm going to like, yeah, diagonally down a little bit. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you want to do with that. You cast your healing spell and you still see a lady just staring off in and up and just blank expression on her face and you just can't shake the fear. Um, okay. Zell's turn. Oh boy. Um, okay. She's totally unaware of any of that. She's got a giant monster and owl there in between her. Um, Okay, she's going to draw the uh, Staff of Healing 
to attack with that. She's going to attack with the long sword that she holy weaponed. Um, so give that a roll uh, for 18. That hits. That four again, I'm sorry. Uh, 18. To hit? That hit, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. right, I'm going to roll the other the other two attacks, just get them all. 16, uh, 23. Yep. And then uh, 14. That one misses, right? They're both for two. Sorry? The, the others hit, though. 14 misses. Okay, for sure. So that was that was with the staff of healing. Um, okay, so okay, got a little extra dice on this one because of the holy weapon. It's two two d eight additional, and those are radiant radiant damage. Okay, so d eight so eight. Five, 13 points of, or 13, sorry, 17 points of slashing. And then uh, five, 11 points of radiant damage. All right, how is Bella went to kill this one? Oh, shit. Nice. Um, so the long sword. Uh, and the light just kind of like cut right through it, like kind of in half anime style. Um, and it just disappears, or I hope <laughs> that would be preferable. Um, yeah. Okay, and then that's her whole turn. Um, she'll probably move kind of closer to the group to see where she can assist. Um, and then have the owl bear run to the closest one and attack it. I, I, there's like several things here. When it, whatever's closest, and I'll just roll the attacks for it real quick. Uh, that was gross. That was gross. Four, five feet of fireball. An 11 for the first one. And. 24 for the second one. Second one's good. What was the first one? The first one was 11. Okay, the second one hits. Okay. Uh, it's 2d8 plus 5. Nice. So, four, nine points of slashing damage. Nice. And then Schechter is. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of surveying the area, keeping an eye on everybody. Um, so I imagine it wouldn't take too long to see a lay three like just to stop. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go over her over to her and try and stabilize her with the medicine kit. If I if I can, if I notice that she's not breathing, um, better idea might be even to how far is that to get over her over to her? Her full movement, a whole twenty five. Yeah. Oh, flame. Uh, okay, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just going to try and stabilize her if I can. And then is that an action or can I do that with a bonus action? Are you using the, like a medicine kit kind of thing? Yeah. Um, I'd say for this, it'd probably be your action. Okay. Yeah, um, no, I'm gonna try and stabilize her so she's at least breathing. At least, at least something is going on. Do what I what I can in the heat of battle, remembering everything when Laura has taught me. Um, is this you, gonna be a medicine? Check? Yeah. Um, yeah, you go to look for any kind of wound, any kind of major in injury, any kind of darkening of the neck or the eyes or anything, and. There's nothing. Okay, so that I don't think that I could do anything with the medicine kit. I'm kind of just uh, yeah. Using the 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 action economy, you've you've tried to stabilize her, and you realize there's nothing you can do with 
not magic means. Okay. That's shitty as hell crap. Um, uh, okay. Um, I'm going to just bonus action use healing word uh, on when Laura, but I'm also at the same time letting her know that we need some help over here. Like <laughs> it's a simultaneous medic, but also you get a little bit from it. Thanks. Uh, let me roll that deep. Oh God, this sucks. Why? <laughs> it's such a dangerous spell to use for so many, in so many ways, seven. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And okay. that's my turn. Okay. In your turn, it's going to use a legendary action on Lenora. So 27. Ah, that's... Um, you take 18 points of slashing damage. And it's your turn. I contain. Okay. And okay. I will cast Revivify on a lay three. Okay. Um, as my action. So she gets one HP back. And I'll say, um, let's get back to work. And I will bonus action, try to hit the butt with Nightmare's Bane. OK. Um, I lay three as you're kind of laying in this uh, field of the blue flowers from home. Um, you can see kind of an older figure sitting off on a hill, just staring away from you. As you go to kind of react and get up, you just feel like the warmth on your chest. You feel a hand pressing on your chest and you can see when are above you talking, but you can't hear anything. Your ears are just ringing, uh, but you are now restored on that point. Okay, go for it. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 15 to hit the butt. Oh. 17 to hit the butt. Mm -hmm. Five, so ten piercing, yeah. and one blood, one radiant. Okay, one radiant. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is my turn. Okay. At the end of your turn, uh, this one is going to make a legendary on friend. That's a natural twenty. Can I see it? Um, I'm going to save the tree there. No. Um, Did I already use my uncanny dodge this round? I feel like I did. No, not this one. Uh, still in that round. It's still not back to 20 yet. So yeah, it's still in that round. So you take 42 points of bludgeoning damage. 42, 42? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but now it's your turn. Prince's turn. Yep. That was not fun. And who, which one hit me? The, uh, the butt? But. Yeah, butt's gonna get the fire. We're gonna go ahead and do the two slashes with the daggers. First one is a 24. Oh, are we, oh, I'm still blessed, right? Right, we're still blessed. Yeah, yeah. we are. Oh, okay, so first one's 28. Second one is a 
Twenty-seven on the second one. Uh, yes, they both hit. Sneak attack, no sneak attack. I'm trying to remember because of this one. I'm pretty sure you still get it. Let me double check because that might be. I think if it's like a one-on-one, -on -one, <laughs> you're still getting it. Well, depending. Here, I had it saved. Random scenario. <laughs> that yeah. one is when you don't. Uh, to keep it going, I'll say yes, but I just want to double check because I want to know. Okay. Yeah, I have it. Sorry. Let's go. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, I think it cancels that one, but it's fine. I'm just going to grab the book. Should I not? You, you can roll it, I think. I think you said just go with it. Oh. Very bad squash boxer. No. That doesn't help. That doesn't have to be a good one. Oh, right. Oh my god. Okay, Bryn is very angry. And that was a 53. Ooh. Nice. Nice. No. Bryn's pissed. <laughs> I understand. No creatures within. Yeah, sneak. Okay, as the saying hoofs you, Bryn kicks you right in your tooth and you feel it chip. And you're like, hell no. Oh, I'm pissed. You just destroy this thing just slashing into its back repairable you know you have some clerics in the group that could fix it but still irritating that mess up the perfect smile did um, you think i got dental yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i think we've got dental i mean technically it's like better than that and blood. <laughs> i'm writing this down as the code of the night yeah <laughs> You're right, though. I do have a cleric, so thank God. Yeah. Um, and I'll stay there. Is it? It's not down, is it? It is not down yet. Okay. Um, I'll stay there. Yeah. All right. Here's it. So I don't miss you real bad again. <laughs> All right. Uh, I. I'm just, I'll attack the butt. Yep. Yeah. Do what you do best. Do what I do best. Poke it with a stick. Slap that ass. Whoa. Slap that ass. <laughs> Sick. And then. Uh, <laughs> That's a different type of shot. 20, 27 to hit. Attacking the butt by poking yeah. with a stick. That works. Different type of shot. Uh, 11 points of damage the first. Okay. Really quick, as you do the damage into it, you can hear bone break as you snap into the back and you can see the skull that you bashed in. The antlers begin to like drag against your leg as it begins slowly trying to climb up. I don't know why I'm doing this, you can't see me. <laughs> but it begins slowly climbing up the side of your leg. Well, good. I'm going to redirect my attack onto the the skull then. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Go for it. <laughs> and I'm going to attack that next. So that was an 18 plus 12, uh, <laughs> 30, 31. Two fucking time. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Hit him on the head. That's going to be uh, 10 points of damage, and I'm going to flurry of blows. And I'm like, I thought you were dead. Where'd you dead? Okay, so 10. Plus this? Yes. Uh, okay. So that's 
Uh, 17 to hit. Uh, for the head? Yeah. For the head, that just misses. <laughs> okay. One more hit. Harder to hit. I brought a natural 20. Nice. Did you hit that bless the first, the one you just Oh, made? no, I did not give it, give it a bless. So for the first one, that would have been, what did I roll? 17. I added plus four. Plus yep. four. So that doesn't, doesn't matter. Hit. Whatever you roll, it'll hit now. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be a, a, oh, wait. Sorry, plus four. Uh, wait. Ah, sorry, my brain's dead now. Um, 11. 11 points of damage to that one. And then the second hit was a natural 20. Got it. Okay. So that's. Twenty-one points of damage in that last one. Uh, stunning strike. If it's not dead. Okay. Uh, yeah. It appears you feel pretty confident that this one's not getting back up after that one, as you just beat it into literally the ground, making a small divot uh, in this strange twisting of vine. You just see her eyes are bulging. She's breathing very heavily. <laughs> Uh, what are these things? Uh, that's my turn. Dang, I'm sorry. He's yelling at me. Okay, are you good? Yeah. Okay, it's now the bottom one's turn. So we'll do... Um, Two attacks on a lay three, one attack on a monarch. Advantage, one's natural 20. Negated. Okay, she still. I mean, she still gets yeah, it. And then two death saves on the second one. And then for you, that is a 24. That hits. 27 points of piercing damage. Slashing damage, sorry. Okay, I need you to make a con saving throw. A natural 20. Okay, I'm good. Um, two, three, and that is going to. As far as you can. You just hear a voice behind you say, It's okay, we can do this. And you are going to heal. Oh, Uh, later, I need to make that saving throw. Uh, Eighteen. Uh, 
rolls over the, the body and just fell down in front of us. Yeah. yeah, really get the. Really, yeah. really make sure. Yeah. And then hit this one. As you kind of move it through, you see like a leg kind of swirl through and then fly off to the side. Um, okay. That's so, safe to throw. 12, 14. Okay. You can see pieces of the floor, the vine, wood, whatever it is, begin to rip out and there's a small little crater where you've kind of pulled everything this way. It's still up, but it is starting to take a lot. Crap, I can't move closer. <laughs> Wait, is uh, the butt still alive? Which part am I afraid of? Is You're it, not afraid of those. I think. Or, or is it this one? I think. I, I'm going to say it's that one. This one? No, the one that was dead now. The one that's dead, yeah. Okay, so am I still frightened? I'm going to say no, because it's gone. So you can make your own moves. But so if you want to move what you did before. Feet up, um, 15, like 5 feet above. Uh, wait, wait, and then cast. You can very speed, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how you want to do that, but <laughs> I will cast it at second level. Yeah, plus 10. Well, Thank you. Thank you for 22. Yeah. 22? Yep. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, sell a Schechter. Or if you guys want, we can say it's now like 10 on one. So whatever you guys want to do. Don't want to cheapen it for you guys, but. Fight on. Fireball. <laughs> More fireball. <laughs> okay. I, I really wish that I actually had that spell, but that's what I was saying right now. Yeah. Um. Okay. Can somebody point to Sella for me on the map? He's outside. Do you see the other map? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Thanks, dude. Um. If somebody could just move her up, kind of with the owl bear. Um. Is there anything within range she could attack? She does have 30 feet. That was, that was 30. That was 30? Okay. Yeah. Not quite close enough to like anything. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, who? Um, you know what? Let's go. Um, uh, okay, so she's able to see the one that's like right in front of Schechter, basically, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to go with a Bane on that one. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it can be three. Up to three of them. So any. But any... And the top? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the top and the bottom, and the and the big one. Um, Christmas saving throws. 
I can almost guarantee you it failed because it rolled a two. So that is a five. Okay. And then is she able to see the the, the other two or just the big one? Um, oh. I'm kind of treating this, I mean, as one, just to keep it a little more simple. So okay. they, they fail, basically. Okay. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, awesome sauce. Um, yeah, read, roll a D4, subtract the number. I think you know how Bane works. Um, neat. So that's that's something. Um, and then, because I never thought I'd be able to do this, uh, I'm going to give myself inspiration. Uh, so he'll toss an inspiration to Schechter. Look out, there's one behind you. PG, I thought of you. <laughs> Look at this. Have its face. Neat. So that that's a D10. Um, and then seeing, uh, oh, okay. And then the owl bear. There, there is, yeah. There's the big one in front of the owl bear, right? There is there another one that I'm not seeing. This one and this one are kind of the last thread right now. Okay. So the owl bear will, will turn to the bigger figure and go for the attacks on it. Uh, let's see here, beak, uh, dirty 20, oh. and then the claws. Wow, uh, 26. Oh, okay. This one's really ringing in the damage, this, this combat. This has been good. Um, nice, 10, so 17 plus 10 for 27 points of damage. Nice, man. Yeah, as so the owlbear kind of leaps into the back of it, claws in its butt, the uh, centaur bottom is just kicking around trying to get away, but the owlbear has it like locked in and begins tearing flesh off its back. Um, yeah, it's starting to look kind of bad. Um, okay. Um, let's see here. Schechter is going to try and help a lay three up oh, if I is... can. Um, so she doesn't have to use all of her movement. God, thank you. Um, is that going to be my action, or can I like bonus action that, or use half my movement to help her stand up, or something like that? Is that possible? Say, um, bonus action. Okay, very cool. Um, and then because I never get to do this, do do do. I'm going to use the Chord of Valor on the loot. Um, so Schechter helps Alay 3 up and then just kind of start strumming away again, trying to keep a little bit of distance between me and anything that looks gross and threatening. Um, and I'm going to give Alay 3 advantage on her next roll. Um, do, do, do. Yep, one creature of my choice has advantage on their next roll. Uh, and I just can't use it on myself or more than one person uh, during a long rest. Okay. Nice, man. And that's my turn. <clears throat> Thank you, Shakta. I will hit it. The, the butt. butt. Yep. Um, 27. Mm -hmm. Uh, 12 and 6 radiant. Still, still, still alive? Not doing too good. Yeah, I'm turn yet. No, but... It's real not good. <laughs> it's like, it's looking real not good, but Kismet is also not looking good. But Kismet is not in... Immediate, yeah. Immediate. Okay. I'm gonna hit it again. It's by fifteen. Okay. Well at twelve. <sighs> okay. When do you want to describe? You take this thing down? 
So it's a fleshy, just a, a bottom, it's a horse, a headless horse. It's a centaur, mm -hmm. a humanoid torso, elk, skull. But the face is over there. Yeah, but now it's just a torso with a little spine wriggling. Oh, good. I'll, with, with my shield freehand, I'll grab it by the spine and then just try to fillet it. With, like predator, kind of? Yeah. Okay. Try to just get the spine out as Yeah, yeah, possible. I got you. Um, okay. Uh, it kind of falls forward a little bit as you kind of kick the legs down and it's trying to stand up kind of like a, a newborn um, horse and you grab it by the spine and you stick Nightmare's Bane in the back of it, pulling up as hard as you can. This scatter of blood hits Schecter, a lay through your beginning to get up and just get kind of like a mop just whipped onto your face of blood as you kind of pull it out and flick it over the back of you. Does it hit me too? Huh? <laughs> Does it hit you I'm yeah. <laughs> The only person that's- Oh yeah, yeah. Me. Bob would definitely get sprayed a little bit, just like a, um, but yeah. So that total damage was- Bob will take out the taste. There's no way. Yeah. Um, it's sour. It's got a little rotten egg taste to it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, you guys are, we won't go too much longer. I just want to figure out what you guys want to do. You guys slayed the homebrew dread centaurs. Um, they are Defeated before you, the flaming sphere begins to slowly dissipate. You're standing on all this strange find. What do you guys want to do right now? I would like to heal Kismet. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. To, I tried really hard, and then Alethe oh, got killed. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. Just um, right almost almost twice. Almost yeah, twice. Twice. Uh, you first. I'll do a... Fourth level cure wounds. I will say Prin's not looking too good either. Okay. Yeah. But I don't know. I was going to say a minute ago, I could do a, a mass cure wounds. I was going to. Everybody looks horrible, right? Yeah. I think everyone yeah. could use a little bit at least, so it probably isn't going to hurt. Yeah. Oh, so how could, um, so what does the area look like? Or do it, does it still look like we're in hostile territory? Could we maybe fix yeah. the ship, take a- uh, Fran, go, go and make a perception check, Fran. <clears throat> I'm gonna hit everyone with a mass cure wounds instead. I think I'm going to do that as well and give everybody a 16 because I definitely need quite a bit myself. Yeah. 25 for everyone. Awesome. Seven, 16. And let me recount everyone because oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, there aren't any more of these things running at us, right? Uh, what'd you get, Fran? I got a 17. Okay, looking around, you can see that there's just all these, you know, 12, 15 foot mushrooms and shrubs that are just kind of stretching up towards the canopy. Uh, it's extremely dark and thick, but you don't see any movement right now. And all you just kind of hear is like the soft movement of the, uh, the leaves above you. You don't really hear anything right now. Can I use uh, my wand of enemy detection? Okay, um, pull it out again, kind of like you did last time. No hits. Okay. Uh, sorry. Did you want to? Um, twenty five for everyone except Stella and Bria. So what oh, lame. You, how are you looking? Um, twenty five, real good. Without, I'm still pretty good. Okay. Actually, I'll hit up one, Stella or Bria, whoever looks worse. I think uh, they. I I was doing one, or I was going to do a mass cure wins as well, but I think Stella's <laughs> actually got one. With the wand. Well, no, never mind. That would use all of the charges. 
I'll, I'll just do a, a mass cure wounds as well uh, for 16. Um, and then that would get Sela back up to normal. Okay. So if you wanted to heal Bria. Does Bria look bad? I thought she was up full. She's looking okay. She's looking so if you okay. want to say that. You can tell she's not too, like a cut or two on her face, but nothing too crazy. <laughs> nothing too crazy? All right, I'm going to heal Baba instead. Okay. Sorry, Bria. It's okay. I'm fine. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, the next step. Oh. Uh, do we need to replace a diamond? Do we yeah. have a diamond to replace? Let me see because yes. we did inventory. Yeah. I'll let everyone Adam, figure it out. Continue. And I, I know the ship isn't like great, but we're not, I don't think we're trying to like go out to sea right now. Is it good enough that we could get back on the ship and maybe rest? Could the crew maybe try to work on fixing it while we rest or slash also, also be like lookouts? Yeah. yeah, as a couple of guys are looking back, it looks like they're trying to do some repairs now. Uh, the, the ship is afloat, um, but it did take uh, quite a bit, um, even with some of the repairs. So uh, just to make sure it's sound, the crew is working on it right now. Um, so if you guys wanted to get back on, you could. Bottles can fix it. Or we could also do Tiny Hut, maybe, here. If you're gonna take a long breath. Yeah, I think we should feast and then rest. <laughs> the plan that before the centaurs. Yes. Did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'll let people know I used the one of enemy detection, didn't see anything, um, and not seeing any immediate threats. As if, a if the boat is in need of repair, I definitely help out with that some too. Um, Schechter, uh, using fabricate. I've got a couple fourth level spells left. I we're resting for the night on the ship. I definitely wouldn't mind using those to try and get it uh, as good as possible. I understand there might be a lot of pieces missing, but I can more or less mend things back in order and stuff like that. Okay, we are down to three more 300 gold piece diamonds. So and so everybody has one. LA3 just got hers replaced, so now we just have three extra. Oh, I see. Okay. That's it. I was like, I know I wrote this down somewhere. I did. I will write down the date also. Four, six. Okay, continue. Um, as you guys uh, just begin kind of making your way around the law scale, Seems distant, just staring back out towards the back of the canopy. Um, Kunu, nowhere to be found, and Shinrare and the um, uh, Duragar um, are kind of just doing repairs where they can. Bob is assisting anything they can get to get the ship ready, and um, if needed, if you guys need it after whatever you decide to do on this island. Um, as you guys kind of walk around though, there are certain parts of this um, thick kind of shoreline that is super difficult to walk through except for a lay three. Um, it's just very confusing. The footing is uneven. Um, there's like little snares that seem to pop up out of nowhere. Um, it seems like they move a little bit, like there's this own kind of livelihood to them. Very strange. There are mushrooms around. Say again? 
You said there are mushrooms around? Massive mushrooms, yes. Mushrooms? Mushroom yeah. like? Mushrooms. How massive? Uh, a couple of them are about your height. Oh, shit. Um, yes. All of them are taller than Baba, but Baba, Baba's not the tallest taller than Schechter. Oh, it wasn't shade. Um, yeah, most most are about Lamara, Lamara site, but some are pretty tall. Are they glowing? Um, some are, uh, but nothing too extravagant. I wouldn't get anywhere near <gasps> any of those. Is uh, so do we all saw like, are the vines that grab Baba still like suspended, or do they kind of? Make a perception check. Yeah. Well. Okay. Um, they're looking up and around the the canopy is a little bit. Um, it's hard to tell how tall it really is, but there are some vines that hang in different sections. Some a little bit lower, but there's nothing that seems to be coming for you. Okay. Um, so just so I'm understanding, we're kind of like in a marsh kind of situation. Kind of. Where it's like viney, but then several trees with it, vines or yeah. like roots yeah right. coming in it was kind of like a large dome okay. so as you go in there are different heights from within okay and all the branches seem to reach back towards the darker part of the forest gotcha. yeah okay um shoot i just want to do a couple things afterwards okay <laughs> Uh, isn't and then we'll figure out what people want to do before they do the long rest, and then figure out. Uh, so I was gonna actually ask. Um, I'd like to try to go up to the tallest tree I can, and climb all the way up to the top, and see if I can look out and see anything like a building or a hut or anything. Before she does that, I'm gonna warn her about mines. Okay. And and just I guess try to be sneaky. We don't want to oh, alert yeah. anybody that we right. knew. I didn't hear what Baba said. Ravi, if you go people up to the top, it seems like. I, I'm sorry, you're cutting out. Uh, there's vines that seem mm -hmm. to grab people when you get too close to the top. Oh, good to know. That grab me. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, I'll cast Pass the Thread Trace on myself first. And, and uh, I'm in the, sh like, I'm, I'm in kind of, well, it don't matter. Vines don't have to see. They don't see. They feel. We'll see. So I'm going to be careful, but I'm going to try to climb up and avoid the vines if I can. Right. Right before you go, if you're going to do that, then I'll go ahead and cast Freedom of Movement on Kismet. Okay. Uh, Kismet, can you roll a d10? Yeah. He's just trying to get the bearings. D10? Uh, I got a five. One more time. One more time? Yep. I got another five. <laughs> okay. Um, as you cast pass without a face on yourself, you can see that your hands begin to have this small, like almost blur to them. It's like your whole body is vibrating or shaking. You can't really understand exactly what it is, but you begin to climb up um, through the trees, go ahead and make a athletics check. Twenty one. Twenty one? What do you say? I just know what I want to do after. Okay. Gotcha. Um okay. Which way are you looking? I want to look in the direction where the branches are all kind of seemingly growing towards.
Looking in, you can just see trees of all sizes, shrubs of all sizes. It's difficult to see from here where everything leads to, um, but there does seem to be a definite center point. Approximately, make a perception check, see what you get. Eighteen. Yeah, it's just very hard to see exactly how far, but you suspect maybe a mile in. Maybe that's where they all meet. They all appear to get slowly, you know, gradually growing thicker as they go towards the center. So that's about your guess, man, with what you rolled. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to for, look for a soft, comfy, cozy spot to land that doesn't go through vines. I'm just going to jump down and kind of roll. <laughs> you're able to kind of jump. Oh, you're not too high up. You're able to kind of jump, roll. Um, and I'll relay that information to them. Just like, it looks like uh, uh, we're pretty far off wherever, I don't know where we're heading, but it looks like the center point is a mile, maybe more. Um, if we're heading in a direction. Yeah, I definitely think that we should feast and then rest before we go any further. I would agree it looks like it's getting a lot thicker back there. I can't hear you, Paul. Oh, sorry, I started my mouth. I was like, as you guys kind of contemplate, Lamara, what do you want to do? I would like to collect the skull of a dread centaur. Okay. Make an investigation check. One back through, you just go to look at some of the others. One is just completely in half. One is bashed into very small pieces, like the size of die. Uh, but the one that kind of looked at a lay three has a strange kind of coldness to it. Um, the antlers are still attached. You want it's all kind of still together. It's big. I mean, it's probably yeah. like a five and a half, six foot mm -hmm. span. Tip to tip. Is it still like? Can I do an arcana check before I try to rip it off? Sure. I'm just trying to see if, like, I mean, it killed a light three. So I just want to make sure if I touch it, it's not going to kill me. Mm -hmm. You know, that spider incident, that was really rough. Uh, 27. Okay. Um, as you kind of just put your hands just close enough to just kind of concentrate and close your eyes uh, with your pendulum, you hear just a little bit of laughter just up ahead. Kind of look it up and raise your gaze. You see a similar figure from when you all were at the tower and you were all different animals. Um, humanoid, just kind of standing off in the distance. She appears to be holding something. Simon, so she kind of smiles a little bit. She kind of walks back into the brush in the darkness, out of sight. Did anyone? Did anyone else think? Um, there does appear to be a little bit of residual magic left over. Don't know exactly the extent, but you did know it met Elytra's Genghis and caused her to die. Gotcha. Do not touch. Um, I don't have that, man. Unless I have that prepped. But I don't think so. But before I even yeah. contemplate that for a moment, I'll, um, I'll tell the group 
and I'll point in the direction where the hack was. Let me say. Kind of off by yourself right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, you went to go get the skull, right? Yeah, I guess everybody's there and I'm. Yeah. People oh. are, yeah, back on the ship. Kismet is nearby. She kind of is walking back towards the ship. Uh, okay. You kind of catch her attention. I'll wait for Kismet to get closer then. Mm -hmm. Did you see anything, hear anything? Uh, I didn't see anything odd. I was at the top of the canopy and just see a lot of tree branches growing in more towards the center. I feel like that's where we're supposed to head, but I didn't see anything strange. Okay, that's so you get on the ship then. And also don't touch that thing, even though it looks cool. Okay, did you see anything? Yes, I'll tell you when we're on the ship. Okay, um, I'll take a quick glance back, just kind of in the direction she was looking before following her. Okay, it's very peaceful, but eerie kind of foliage. Um, just kind of how dark and dense it is kind of bothers you a little bit, but nothing really catches your eye. Are we on like the, the bridge to the ship now? Yeah, we'll say there is kind of a step ladder leaning to against it right now. Um, I'll wait for her to climb first and I'll just say, yeah, I, I saw the hag holding something. Oh, That's sure. lovely. Brent doesn't overhear that, right? Like she's not there. Wait, it was a hag that she saw? Mostly. Assumed. Lamar assumed. The woman that was riding the man horse. Yeah. Gotcha. I don't know if we ever found out what they were. All okay. I have is that it was humanoid with a gaunt face, piercings, and a bone staff. Oh, good. Cool. Yeah, that sounds friendly. Awesome. Yeah, I'll say it was a, the woman that I saw. Uh, just get up. Just get up. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'll just uh, climb up, I guess. got wind. No one has to do something they don't want to. Is there anything you guys really want to do tonight on uh, the ship? Is you guys to go down? Yes. <laughs> Level <laughs> up. Yes! <laughs> it was that a no or a yes? What? It was a no. yes? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Friend, what were you going to say, though? Oh, I was just saying, uh, friend, before she goes to bed, I guess, is just going to try to help get the ship together and help out where I can and just kind of, like, talk to the crewmates and make sure everyone's doing okay and kind of touch base with everyone. I, I guess uh, Schechter would try and have some conversation with uh, Jarek since he now knows his name kind of making progress in the relationship just uh trying to see what else maybe he can remember if uh, knowing his name sparked anything talk about kind of the visions Schechter saw from being in the oracles of the bath and stuff like that yeah kind of having conversation with them um they're still like kind of distant uh, not this kind of that disconnect. Um, not as much progress as you would like. Um, he just still kind of seems lost in the way. He'll engage with you for a second and kind of forget where he's at. Keep shaking his head, but yeah. It's okay. Strange. A little bird brained. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> um, yeah. As uh, you kind of notice, Schechter, that um, Bria is just without um, real conversation, just always kind of setting herself beside you, um, kind of since the Kraken ordeal. And uh, really, just everything, you get the sense that she's starting to feel just a little more comfortable. A little more what? Comfortable. No, okay. no words, no real. Um, eye contact just like a sitting near you kind of thing 
the, the comfortable silence, not necessarily awkward silence kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Um, Baba, you do? Well, actually, Baba is kind of freaked out, you know, gets eaten by a kraken. Yeah. Terrified of whatever those things were that he just saw. Yeah. Uh, so I don't think he can sleep. Mm -hmm. He's probably going to just be working on the ship, trying to avoid everyone, trying to figure out what's going on. Kind of getting scared, like, am I going to make it to my dream kind of thing? Mm -hmm. Like, he'll probably be up all night. I don't think he's sleeping tonight. After uh, feast, I do want to say I, I am going to cast water breathing on everybody. So it's okay. been set. Uh, Bob, go ahead and make a wisdom check. That was not good. You said four, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Negative one? Oh, man. <laughs> um, for all your work being like an outlet for Baba, everything is a distraction. It's you're out of focus and um, you think about your brother again. And there's a weird sadness that starts to consume you. And uh, you keep slowly, as you were saying, separating yourself from your body more and more. And uh, I'll let you know what that means more and more. Okay. Next game. What the hell? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, as um, when Laura begins to. I'm sorry, A3 begins to go around. She's checking on everyone, making sure everyone's fed and has enough food in this uh, bountiful feast that you guys are having. Um, yeah. Everyone begins to... What's that? Oh, I'm I'm agreeing. I rolled, oh, yeah. I rolled for the hit points. Mm -hmm. Or it's it, it's temp... Is it... No, it's not temporary. It's better. It's better than that. What is Over it? Over max. Um, Over maximum. Yes. Uh, 12. Nice. So what is the hero's feast do? Is it the points and then isn't there other stuff with it? Oh yeah. So everyone's cured of all diseases and poison. If we were, we are now immune to poison, immune to being frightened, and we make all wisdom saving throws with advantage. And your hit point maximum increases by 12 for 24 hours. And you can breathe underwater for 24 hours. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, just to keep it from going too long, we do have to kind of get up early. You guys begin to all make your way towards um, your quarters. Um, Friend, make a perception check. And on a cliffhanger, I can feel it. So have we long rested at this point? Or is this uh, not before? quite. You guys are kind of in the middle of your sleep. Uh, 28. 28. I, you, you know a lady would find you and give you food. She's gonna fucking force feed you. Oh, for sure. Obviously an adult, okay? He makes well, you decisions. fucking play that out. Only, only when you act like an adult, and if you're not gonna act like an adult, then someone else will have to make better choices for you. We'll pretend to eat. <laughs> I would see that you are... Uh, <laughs> I'll hold his mouth open. What is it? Yeah. What's happening? Yeah, so what? as the time has already passed, wait, what? He hasn't eaten it. You guys are sleeping right now. Um yeah. <laughs> you already said he wasn't. You gotta hold him down and force feed him? Yes. 
So yeah. Really that's that's what my mother did to me with medicine. Did you meet Yuki? I've dealt with this. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> It's a bird rock and vegetables. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, as uh, everyone kind of winds down, uh, Prin, you can hear just kind of creaking um, outside of your door. Small little footsteps and then just nothing. Okay. Is the creaking abnormal? Or a little bit. It's a little bit too consistent for it to be just the oldness of the ship. Can I see go up to the door, maybe like peek under it? Is there a large enough space I might be able to see like peek? Is anyone in front of the door? Yeah, as you kind of lay underneath the door, you can see two very, very dark barefoot feet underneath the door. Just Dark is in like black in color or just shady? Yeah. Filthy. Like filthy. And do they look like little kid feet? I'm guessing. They do not look very little. They don't look little? All bees. Do they look um, like a non-humanoid? Does it look human? They look like human feet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, are they just like facing towards the door, like standing there, or? Um, as you kind of like, kind of looking at them, you're trying to like, is that feet? You kind of refocus your eyes, and there's nothing there anymore. Oh, that's so creepy. Uh. I would like to open the door and just peek. Take a look. We go open the door and you hear Nathalie's voice as if she's in the room, just say, Mommy, help. And it sounded like she's in the room. Yeah, looking around, there's no one there. I'll just kind of whisper back or say back, um, you know, mom's coming. Um, oh, as you come, you open that door, you can see up the stairs, there is a black silhouette of a figure just kind of shaking their head at you and start to laugh, like a beautiful laugh, and then it gets more shrill and deeper and deeper and deeper, and you blink again, and the figure's not there. I'm going to go ahead and go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because uh, yeah. I gotcha. Okay. As the uh, the rest of you guys uh, make your way to sleep, we'll call the shorter game there tonight because there's a little bit more, but it'll take too long and we'll just do it next time. I'm like, I, yeah, Prince not demons is what I'm thinking of, like ghost demons. And I'm like, yeah, we can go back to bed and do a lot in the morning. <laughs> That's a tomorrow problem. Yeah. That's a when I'm not about to die kind of problem. <laughs> I have to know. And maybe when I have some backup and it's not just yeah, yeah. that's a strong note. <laughs> nope. Nope. Yeah, nope. Like, nope. Right, Shut like, the door. I, nope. I've seen that horror movie and I know better than to be like, hello, who's there? Oh my god, that was the worst. Like Especially when you were like, they're not little. <laughs> right. I know. I was like, oh, okay. okay. Ah! Like the ghost kid of like the, the ship. And I was nope. like, and then I'm like, no. A whole lot of no is what that was. Yeah. No. Well, that was an interesting game. <laughs> Thanks. Um, no, yeah, no worries. Uh, hope you guys liked it. I think we'll have people in town Sunday. What time are they leaving soon? They leave, um, and I think it's the morning. Let me triple thousand check. So maybe good to play Sunday. Oh my gosh. This Sunday? Oh. Kind of pushing things up, maybe. 
somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Sorry. Um, they fly out at one, one p.m. Okay. So put something in chat if you guys can play Sunday slash want to. Um, four thirty, I guess normal time. We can. Oh, you that don't kill earlier. Us. What's that? I said, oh, maybe you don't kill us. <laughs> no promises. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> I will let you know I'm currently training. I don't know my schedule next week. Uh, yeah, all, all bets are off when the DM starts using power word kill. But mommy God. would have a whole new meaning. No. Like, like yeah. <laughs> But yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I'll put it in the chat. Just let me know, Hannah, like when you know, no big deal. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Thanks, everyone, for saving me. You're welcome. Good job, yeah, especially when Laura. I tried my best. Sorry, I feel bad for Kismet, though. It's like, okay, I'm going to heal her. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Oh, yeah. She was just down to like her last 10 hit points, and I was like, all right. We're doing this. It's like I, I I wasn't ignoring you. I heard you, and then the person next to me died. <laughs> that happens. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then up and down. Up and down. Well, guys, we may see you Sunday then. Have a good one. Yeah. All good right. game, guys. Bye. Bye, everybody.